more fun with Super Mario World. We are uh, going to go back here and try Valley of Bowser 2 real quick. And as you can see, we have a wonderful new overlay here. Uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, got to remember there's bats there. Um, but yes, we have a nice new overlay. A little bit of change to the visuals here to start off December. I kind of initially was going to wait till, uh, till January to bring in the new overlay and all my nice little settings, but you know, start the new year off with some new changes kind of thing, but you know what? I was experimenting with it and looking at the nice graphics we got here, courtesy of my partner Jaime, and you know, it just I just like the way it looks so much, I decided not to wait to roll it out. So, there you go. Think of it as an early Christmas present. Alright, get the midway. So yeah, I know how to do the second exit now. Um, went ahead and did a little research over the past week, and that's all well and good. It's not about the Yoshi wings. Oh, I just got to do this section really smart. We're not going to panic, just like last time. This is a section designed to be done with patience. Whoop, whoop. And understanding. Technically, I could have gone ahead over there. Probably should have, but you know what? That's okay. It's all about the focus. Yeah, I don't want to run too far and miss my gap here. Whoop, whoop. Get you Mr. Dragon Coin. Go up here. But yeah, a little bit of redundancy from last episode, but I wanted to finish off getting this because I really wanted to, as I said last time, show how there's the the the, the different ways to get to the last level, the um, Bowser's Castle. Whoa, wrong way. That almost tricked me. I had forgotten about that. From that's the problem with not you know, with doing these, you know, kind of casually once a week as a thing is you forget those tiny little parts. And then, yeah, shoo, up to here. And then, let it go down. And dash, and just barely made it. And, don't, 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 don't. Dum, 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 dum. Shump. Shump. And dash. Okay. This is the tricky part. I gotta do this just right, folks. Probably should have just... Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Ha ha. See? Hidden level. Totally hidden. Alright, there's the key. That's a super easy once you know it's there, but visually tricky because there's no hint of scrolling up. Even if you just like accidentally jumped on that, you wouldn't see a up scroll, so. You know what? Good times. I'm just gonna go ahead. save since that was the redundancy stuff I could have done that off panel I suppose but I did want to shoot oh it's one of these things I did want to show you all the uh, alternate exit and 
Just like that last level there with the dirt stuff. It's like this is a hurry up and wait situation. All right, get my cape feather. Shoot! Oh, look at that. Okay. Brown spikes fall. Fuck you. Brown spikes fall. Okay. Yep. Hit. Hit. Brown spikes fall. Uh. That's why we always try to have a backup plan, which this is not this is not gonna end well. I don't I don't get I don't know how to do I don't know how to do that sequence. Unless you just gotta like super dash through it. We're going to have to try that a couple times. Boop. Oh god, okay. Get get right in between, right in between. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so close. I love it and I hate it. It's like absolutely just. Whoop. But again, gotta like the extra cape feather because what have we been saying the last few episodes of this playthrough? Thank you, Switch Palace! Switch Palace is our friend. We love the Switch Palace. Okay, what is. Okay, that's a simple one for. Just jump and jump. This is where it... Oh, dang it. Let myself drift too much. Alright, I got one shot at this. I just I guess you gotta go like as soon as they start heading up. And just... Oh, there we go. You just gotta totally leap of faith that thing. Come on, I know you're tricking weight for me. Crush you, get you. Thank you, Switch Palace. You one more. Oh my god, like this is just not happy fun time jumps. There's just like zero margin of error. I mean I suppose not zero zero, because then that'd be that Mario Maker hard and that stuff's just Yeah, that we, we we've discussed that in previous episodes. Ooh, okay, there's my hitbox. God, these are getting quicker. No, 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 no. Ah! Ah, oh, that is such a cheat. That is such a jip. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. You get tr it just trapped me right in the middle. I had nowhere to go for the duck dodge. Not any options for the duck dodge. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna be hating life if I can't beat this. I'm just going to be honest with you folks. Damn it, they did it again. Did it to me again. They won't rise up as quick as they fall down. God, I've just, I've got to speed through that. Just, it's like, you got to be ready to dash and just, just go with it. And, ugh, so stressful. Ooh, I had forgotten. I, I had zero recollection of this level. Absolutely, so. You know, I was, I was like all cocky. I'm like, man, we've been whipping these fortresses butts this whole playthrough. Oh, God. 
Now I don't have my cape for the perma kills on these guys. This is not looking like it's going to be the life. Yep, see, there we go. Let's just go ahead and die and get over with. I need that cape to get through that section. I'm just not talented enough. Problem is when I have no... I'm sure we've discussed this previously somewhere in one of these episodes. Problem is when I have no... When I only have the one life point to work with, I get nervous. Because it's like I cannot make a mistake. I'm just going to hitbox this one. Whoop. Yeah. So it's like when you... You know, when you don't have that lifeline, it's just everything is so much more stressful. Yeah, I feel so confident when I'm Cape Mario here, because it's like... Ah! Ah! And then I ruined it. I ruined it. I'm a runter. I just, I question where I'm going to land. And it just wrecks shop. It's not cool. See, these guys have like AI. It's like they sit there and wait for me. Alright. I don't like it. See, that's where I get in trouble on those spikes. Is so I get hit by the side and it doesn't want to go. Ah! Did it again! Dang it! I need to save that cape as long as possible. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Watch out for this guy. Come on, fireball. Take my time, kill you. Get my mushroom. Skadoosh. Stupid. Come on, come on, come on. Let me go like that. Oh my god, these are the guys I don't like. So much stress. Oh god. Oh god. See, it's this. I got on. I know I gotta hit that jump and then immediately keep running. I'm just not. A ah! Ah! See, that's the thing. If you don't make that jump, you're automatically dead. Even with the extra hit point, because. You have nowhere to go except into the lava. You have to hit that jump perfect. Look at this. Like, I went right below and they're like, nope, nope, nope. Nah, we're going to fall down. Like, the rhythm on these... I mean, that's straight up. That That is where the difficulty comes in. Uh... You know, it's not that the game is unfair. It's just tricky because you've got the same obstacle in the same level, but depending on where it is in the level, it has different speeds and a different rhythm to it. Like those first ones kind of feel you out. You can, you can sucker punch with them. It's like, oh yeah, this isn't too bad. It's like, yeah, I, I, I can see them coming down. I can anticipate it. Uh, 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 oh, God! Yes! Ah! Ah! See, I was cocky because I had my cape feather. I knew better. I knew I had to just dash and go for it. But I was like, oh, I got my cape feather. I have more control over my falls. And look what happened to me. But that's what I'm saying. Like, none of this is unfair difficult. None of this is, oh, this game's just impossible. 
It's it's all a learning thing. It's ah. See, I knew better than that. I know better than that. I've done that so many times already. God, I really just want to save state this and not have to redo this first part. I mean, I really do, just because I don't want to sit here for this for this whole episode and just play this one level over and over again. It's not fair to you viewers to just see one boring little valley of... <sighs> just... I just gotta focus. I gotta focus, feel out my timing. I know I can do the section. I've done the section. I'm just... I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm suckering myself out. That's what I'm saying. Like, these guys are such nice little intros. Just a baby jump to the concept. What's going to happen? Yep, let the beetle come to me. So I have plenty of time to dodge the bones. All right. Thing. That's easy. It's like you're chilling. You're like, oh, these things are, are are not bad at all. And then it's like, okay, now we're gonna. God, 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 God! See, you miss one jump and it's dead. You might as well just die right there. Mm, you know what? We're gonna go back. Uh. We're gonna try this level again because I just I gotta change this up. I'm not I'm not feeling that fortress right this second. All right, I still got my midway point from previous, so that's good. Like I'll say that last game when I went. Like I do like that this level is giving me the midway points. It's actually really you know even though I went into another level that's like a really fair thing for the game to do. It doesn't have to be that nice to me, but it is. And I appreciate that. Alright, here's where it gets a little tricky, because I'm going to hit that, and then i got to keep jumping. There we are. I got. See, you instinctively want to go down the slide and have fun going wee, but then you want that controlled jump because you don't know how much. Ah, that was stupid. I just went in blind. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to just feel this level out and let it teach you what it wants from you. I can do this, though. You alright, get my cape feather. These guys are so much easier to kill when you can spin jump them. I get I mean it really until you have I mean unless you have done like like people my age did where you played Mario Brothers one and two I know American two. Um Like, the amount of... The, the the thing with the spin jump, you know, and you get it to a lesser extent, and... God, see, that's the thing. It's like, I want to run dot jump instead of relying on this Koopa Troopa. But if I build up too much speed, then I don't... Then I hit the roof and I mess myself up. Just not confident about this jump sequence. So, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm not trying to be MLG. We're just going to jump, skip to this portion, and do what we got to do. Oop, oop, oop. See? 
Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not doing that first sequence over and over again. Especially when I know there's a high possibility I'm going to do something stupid in the interim like that. I just, I tell you, I said, this is why I don't consider myself like a pro gamer at any game. Any game whatsoever. Alright, let me hide here from him for a minute. Okay. Alright. Uh, ah, stupid bounce back. Alright, I know there's a drop right below me that's going to have a s couple of these, so. Okay, so that's the alternate exit. I have to do this, that whole level and all those tricky jumps with Yoshi. But, all that does is lead me to Star Road, which I already have access to so I'm not worried about getting that secret exit this time um it's gonna allow me to skip the uh, last coupling but I'm not super worried about doing that because yeah Larry that's it I, I wanted to say Lemmy but we already we already defeated Lemmy but yeah we're gonna do Larry I don't know maybe just get some get some mojo flowing here might go back and do that fortress, or I might just skip ahead to Bowser. Oh, it's the snake. It's the snake with the spike. Okay, yeah, this is gonna This is gonna be a learning experiment. Let's just let's Just do this. I don't have to do all this game over nonsense. Since I haven't had a safe state for a few levels. Not a safe state, but a natural save. Oh, that baby Mar- eh, not baby Mario, but regular Mario. I, I, that, see, that's one of the things that, oh my god, this is, oh, it's definitely like last level stuff. Oh, the reflex testing here, but, um. I don't know if this was technically smart or not, but, I mean, theoretically, it has to go back. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. But that's one of those things, like, the later Mario games, I think, I really, I think it started in, I don't know. Um. Ah! God, see, I had it, and then I lost my focus. I gotta quit trying to make a point, but. Like, the Mario, the, the 3D Mario games had that whole thing going, where it was like, oh, you're, you know... You're, you don't really turn... You don't really go from, like, regular Mario to Super Mario anymore. They, like, phased that concept out for a while. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta wait for him to pass me and then jump back on. Oh, I love that the chains are, like, freebie zones. It's like, no, no, no. You only have to worry about the spikes themselves. Okay, see, I'm, I was supposed to hang out here. And then if I catch it high enough up here. Okay. What the? No, get, get over here. All right, now I got to catch back up on my snake. Got to get back on the snake. There we go. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, okay, so, well, that's fine because I, need, I needed that extra. Oh, come on, man. Quit. Quit wrapping around on me. Just go to the end. You're a, you are not helpful, buddy. You're not my buddy, dude. You're not my dude, buddy. Oh, you're a bad snake. Oh, you magic Koopa. Rick. Ah! God, not... Oh, I gotta do the snake all over again. I don't want to do the snake all over again. Don't like the snake. Snake is not my buddy. 
paw from... Ah, uh, see, that was stupid. I was like, oh, I'm gonna jump up here and just wait for it. And then it's like, no, nah, it ran right in the spike ball. Yeah, you're like Ka from Jungle Book. You're just a... Okay, haha. Now I'm just going to wait this sucker out. because Forget about it. I ain't got time for this nonsense. Yeah, I did that. I totally skipped that snake section. It'll come back eventually. Oh, you liked it? See, here it comes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Oh my god. Like, I don't even know if I want to do Bowser's Castle the way I'm feeling tonight, which is like horrible to say, because. You know, it's kind, of, it's kind of like, you know, I really need to just get to the finale already. Quit torturing you guys, but... You know, hold... It's like, how long did it actually take to beat Super Mario World? Well, when you... You know what? I don't care. As I said, we are abusing our emulator status. We're making that official policy right now. And I don't care. I don't care if y'all want to judge me and say I'm not a real gamer because I'm a, I didn't really beat it. You know what? Forget you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Give me a little hole to squeeze through. Woo! 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 -hoo. Oh, that was scary. Ah! ah! See? That's why, that's why we did this. Just forget that snake. I already beat the snake once. I proved I can beat the snake. I don't need to beat it over and over and over again. I'm not trying to prove I am better in Super Mario World. I don't need to prove that. I just need to prove... You know what? I don't even need to prove anything. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. That, that's what we're here for. Ah, got, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even going to pretend. Just forget these Magikoopas. They're like the most annoying enemy in this game. Always popping up and throwing energy spells at you. And just like that, it is just complete nonsense. They are all jerks. Are you telling me not? There you go. I was about to say, you better respawn so I can do this. God! Mother! I'm just sick of doing these same couple sequences. It's like, come on. <sighs> just. If I could just hold on to my. My super state, like, past this wall. Like, that's... Ah! Uh, see, they kept throwing low, they kept throwing low, now he throws high, it's just... Ugh, everything in this game to... You know, it's just sometimes that's just all games do. It's like, you cannot... Oh, now the turtle hits me! Oh my god. You know what? No, no. You know what? Take the life. We're done. We're done. I'm going to go power up. We're going to Star Road and we're trying Bowser's Castle. I'm I'm just, no. I'm not feeling this, the Valley of Bowser tonight. Let's just... You know what? Let's just try the last level. Uh, I'm just, I don't... I don't like my magic. I don't like the magic Koopas. Another star, right? Yeah. 
I don't like the Magic Koopas. I don't like the spikies and the precision jumping. No, we're gonna go beat up Bowser. I'm not gonna worry about 100%ing this game anymore. Come on, Yoshi. I know you can't go in the castle with me, but you make me feel better. Alright. Grind a couple lives. Just because. But yeah, no, what I was saying was, yeah, the 3D games, because they worked in more of like a, um, like a life bar style vibe. Where you're, you know, where getting the coins would give you more health instead of just 100 coins gave you life. You know, the whole process of that, and I guess that's one of those, like, subtle reasons why I say they don't really feel like real Mario games to me. Or not, not real Mario games, but, like, I don't get that same, like, hey, I just feel so happy playing this vibe from the, the, the 2Ds, even the, even the modern 2Ds. Like, I, I, I like new Super Mario U. Um. All right, back up to ten lives. That'll be good. And I'll just. Yep, we're gonna do our star road. But uh, but yeah, it's like something about seeing you know Mario shrink to to tiny Mario, small Mario, regular Mario, whichever particular variant of translation you like. Okay. Save state just because. So yeah, the reason it's called Front Door is if you actually if if you beat the Valley Fortress, you go to this smaller little tower looking thing, which is the back door, which means you skip the first half of the stage. So it's a easier run for you. Two, crunch. Three, four. Uh, probably shouldn't have chosen four. This looks like a pain in my butt. Precision timing stuff. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Alright, five, six. You know what? We'll try six. Ooh, under what the? Occasional spiky spikes. Okay. That's fine. We will just take our time. I mean, not too much, because, you know, like everything Mario, there's a level gauge here. Because eh, I don't want to get rid of my fire. Cut that too close. Ah, maybe I should have kept it. So I got built. So I got a spin jump then. And back up again. Ah! Ah! One tap too many. I was almost there. Oh, this thing. I remember this one now. This one's not a fun. This one's kind of weird because you keep not seeing yourself and like, oh, maze. You gotta do like the whole maze thing. Watch, look for them. Should be. There's my jump through. Or 
Where's my jump through? God, do I gotta go like farther back than I would? Whatever. I don't like that one either. Four wasn't, I mean, super bad, but let's just, I don't know. Let's just, we gotta beat something tonight. Alright, this doesn't look too bad. Whoa! That was... That was nonsense. I'm not... No, we're going to redo two again. Because... That's, that's like... Call back to the first castle. I'm, I'm confident I can do that one. You know, I swear I've played Mario before. I swear I know what I'm doing. You know, we had a good time last time. We played. I made some respectable progress. And this time, they're just... Ah! Okay, that last part was kind of scary. All right. So I know one's not that bad. So I want to do the watery level again. Let's, oh, God, more of this. Oh, I'm having PTSD flashbacks or something. No, maybe not PTSD. What's... Oh, come on! What are you supposed to do? You can't wait. The thwomp will kill you. I ran the whole time. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Blues, run all the way over. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. You know what? I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not even. Not even. We're not redoing that first. Let's see what seven is. Ooh, vintage. It's a hoppy? Okay, you can't touch the hobby. Oh, God, Jordan Chuck. Oh, I don't like the Jordan Chuck. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, 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 I don't like that one. Not, not, not if I don't have a cape feather. That is just not going to happen. Okay, let's, uh, you said what, seven? Okay, I just gotta not, God, I just, I need a mushroom, like, can I believe they're not giving me, like, any power-ups on these, le well. Yep. Yep, jump over you. Jump over you. Like, come on, a yellow or a green? Why is it, why do they gotta be the two colors that don't help me? Okay, all right. So this is where yeah, we're just saving again. I'm not. I'm not even gonna pretend at this point. Let's just show some. Let's just get somewhere. But yeah, if if you go through the back door, if you manage to beat the fortress, um, this is where you would start. And then you don't have to do that pick a door sequence stuff. Ugh, kill you. So, and it's our little ninjet buddies. 
from Mario Brothers 2. Which I thought was a nice little, like, throw in here. You know, the Shy Guys debuted Mario Brothers 2, and they eventually became, like, pretty iconic regular characters. Oh, God. See, look at this. Like, I'm at Bowser, and I have no power-ups. This is, like, actually kind of not fair. Hey, look. It's a clown. But, hey, look. It's a Bowser. Ah. Uh. Uh, no, no. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what you're doing with Bowser. Is you just gotta turn his toys against him. There we go. You gotta get that timing just right, and then. Yeah, scary. Ooh. Fire bad. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. You're my baby. I do love the way Bowser looks in Mar in, in like Mario Brothers in, in Mario World. Like this is one of my favorite looks for Bowser. He honestly looks menacing. Like Mario Three wasn't bad. He's just it's a it's still a little Saturday morning cartoonish. Ah, keep shooting it too late. Um. Oh my god, that was weak sauce. Okay. Damn. Ah, see, this thing's useless to me now because ah, he's chunking the bowling balls. I mean, technically, I suppose I could do it in between, but it's like stalking me. God, I can't. I haven't done this in forever. I cannot remember my. I can't get my timing right. Ah, ah, just do that one. Oblivion. Get there. We go. Get up there. Get up there. That's what I'm talking about. Mad ups. Yep. I know you're gonna throw your. Bowling ball, I just cannot do what I did a second ago. You get trapped between the bowling ball and the clown copter. Gotta give myself plenty of room for the jumps. There we go. So you gotta arch it this time because he's gonna want to stalk you. Oh, oh, what you got, buddy? What you got? Yeah. Okay, back to the fireballs. Those aren't too bad. You want this? Oh! Oh, man. That's like a pixel point. Okay. It's all right. That sequence wasn't too bad. Though, I'm probably from here just going to go ahead and save it to right before Bowser. I'm going to try to do Bowser in one sitting. I'm not going to, like, save game it in between Bowser. But I just, I, I just don't want to keep replaying stuff tonight. I will say I give the game a lot of credit for using the wind-up Bowser toys throughout the level. So when Bowser throws them during the boss fight, it's like they've already introduced the concept of them. You've had a chance to experiment with them and see that... Um, and see that you can use them sim like, like Koopa shells. So you, you have an idea of what you're supposed to do first time you play. And it's like, oh, these are these things I can like pick up and throw. And Bowser's not coming down here, so I bet I gotta throw him up at his head. You know, there, there's a distinct... 
eh, learning curve there. It's like, if you have the Mario Intelligence... Eh, too much horizontal. To, uh, to get through... You know, to get this far, you can figure out what you're supposed to do with these things. Alright, just feel out the fireballs. You're okay. Alright, give, give me my mushroom, baby. Oh, thank you, baby. You're my bae. You're my princess bae. It's like you throw them off panel and they just cease to exist. It's like it's convenient like for portions like this, but it's like, come on, man. Bowser basically flew right into that thing, but it didn't count because it was off panel. It's like that was kind of cheap. Learn where I want them. There we go. Learn where I want them. Ah, it went off panel. Okay, well, I got the first hit, so we're good. Just be careful with the bowling balls. There we go. So it's kind of funny, like, think about this. Um, this is my favorite design for Bowser himself. But I actually have to say, I like the fight in Super Mario Bros. 3 more. Gotcha. Ah! Why did I run right into you? Okay, it's the flames. Let me get rid of you so I don't have to worry about you coming back to life. Alright, so I have the second round of flames. Alright, we're hitboxing it, we're hitboxing it. Come on, come on, another power up. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you, Princess Bae. Oh, God, I forgot about this part. Oh, this part is not my friend. And run under. Okay. He's angry clown now. He's getting, he's getting down there. He's angry. He's angry. This... This is where just playing gets difficult. It's like... Come on. There we go. Okay, there's one. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Feel it up. Feel it up. Wait, where do you go? Where do you go? Okay. Throw. And... Oops! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yes! Yes! Got him! Got him! Woo! Oh, Princess Bay. Oh, my Princess Bay. Oh, I love it. Oh, you're my Princess Bay. Okay. Yes, we're going to take a vacation. Nice, nice beach where we can get, you know... We can just like lay out in the sun and get drunk off margaritas and daiquiris and anything they're going to serve us in, inside a coconut. Woo! And Yoshi with all his Yoshi egg pals. Alright, now see. And again, this, these are these ti these are these little details that I love in these classic games. 
Yoshi has seven eggs following him. There's seven castles in the game. Every time you beat a castle, you rescue a buddy. So that's his seven buddies from the castles. Even though I didn't beat Larry, so technically that one wasn't rescued. But for the sake of the end credits, you know, they, they assume you went through the standard route, which would have gone through Larry's castle. So, fun times, fun times. Um, but yes, Valley of Bowser is just 100% all the stupidity. 100% just, I don't care. So, we are, uh, I don't know. I may, I may go back one day, and I, I'm not going to say this is the absolute last episode we'll ever do with Mario Bro or Super Mario World, because I kind of do want to finish Valley of Bowser if, I don't know about the uh, extra world, so... Again, for anybody that doesn't know, since, you know, there's only so much to talk, you know, talk about what's going on in the credits, we pretty much said it. Um, for anybody that's never played this game and doesn't know what's what, we did not beat Star Road 5. If you beat it, yay, and then all the other colored Yoshis, everybody's back at Yoshi's house partying. Um, the other, whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, and now they've hatched now that they're safe. Thank you. But uh but yeah, the other when you beat Star Road 5, it unlocks a another set of worlds in this like super hidden zone. Similar to what like a lot of the modern Mario games do, where it's like, oh, you beat the game and found all the stars, so you get like a whole another world full of level. It's that same thing, and like those, they are challenge levels. They are considered the hardest levels in the game. I have personally never beaten them. I have seen uh, family and friends beat them, but. And again, I'm, I guarantee you they're, yay, my rhino buddies, and look at those Koopas. I guarantee you there's people online that have done just these Mario World Masters, you know, 100% completion runs. And you can see those worlds there, but I, I don't picture, um, I, I definitely would not beat them all. I've never done it. Um, so that's not something we're going to look forward to. Oh, look at all my ghosties. I don't like Fishing Boo, but, you know, I like ghosts in general. Fishing Boo's not my favorite ghost, but he's a ghost, so he gets, he automatically stays on the somewhat good side. Which is goodness, but... It's fun times. It's... It's something that we're gonna we're gonna work with. Resnor was just always so easy for a fortress boss. Mecha Koopas, yay! But uh, yeah, I'm May and all the Koopa kids. I always kind of like Ludwig. Something about the big poofy hair there. Just looks cool. I may come back to Super Mario World one day and finish it. Uh, it it's not going to be anytime soon. There's other games on the list that I have been meaning, that I, that I want to play. Um, there's a couple I've been meaning to go back to because I didn't finish it before we got uh, caught up with things. So it's you know, it's going to be a while before we do Mario World again. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess around like um, with that and claim otherwise. We're we're going to set Mario World aside for a little bit. This is functionally the last episode. It's.
Uh, I'm not going to swear on my life. It's, you know, going to be the last ever, but for now, Mario World, Super Mario World is complete. So, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed laughing at my frustration on several levels. But, you know, uh... We got to see all the alternate paths. Well, except for the whole Valley Fortress, but I told you what that led to. You know, we, we saw how to get all the Switch Palaces. We saw at least the, that first part of the Star Road before you get to those Challenge World levels. And I, I think that's... I think that is a fair run-through. I think that is a more than adequate demonstration of why Super Mario World is awesome. So, yeah, I just, I feel like we, we showed you Bowser, we showed you how to beat Bowser. Um, I may go back just to show you beating Larry, because it's like, well, technically I didn't beat the last Koopaling. And he's a boss, but I just, I... It, it just didn't happen this time. Um, but that's the that's the thing about Super Mario World. You don't have to beat Larry. Technically, as we showed with the Star Road, I didn't have to beat Wendy. You know, you if you're really skilled, you don't need all the Switch Palaces from the Force of Illusion. I've heard online that there are people that ha have gotten to that Bowser Star Road exit you know, straight to his castle without getting the uh, the last Switch Palace. I think... I wouldn't be surprised if there's people that have beaten this game without getting any of the Switch Palaces. I I've heard that's like... And I keep saying I've heard, but... Because I've never witnessed it. But I have read online that that is considered one of the hard modes of Mario World is a no Switch Palace run. I definitely can't do that. Those Switch Palaces saved my butt way too many times in this game. And I'm just not that good a player to do a no-Switch Palace run. But if you've done a no-Switch Palace run, if you know somebody that has done a no-Switch Palace run, you know what? Um, comment down below. I, I welcome all comments. Um, let me know. And if you have not done Mario World before, but now we're interested in checking it out, let us know. Let us know if you have anything to say, but for now, we're going to set Mario aside. We're going to play some other games. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this whole playthrough. I hope you enjoy the next few games we play. I don't know how many parts they're going to be. Some might be one-offs. Some might be multis. We're just going to have to see. But until then, until I see you again, take care of yourself. Hang out with your loved ones. And enjoy what you can. Because sometimes you get to rescue a princess. Awesome pop.